I don't know if I have a title. <laughs> and at Bob's stage in life. I'm 82 years old. <laughs> he does not really need one. Interesting story about how Bob got here. To the Bridges of Hope Emergency Homeless Shelter in Xenia. Bob's wife, Dorothea, battled cancer 28 years, and in the spring of 2017, she lost that fight. My wife was uh, gone, and uh, I didn't know where I was going, what I was going to do. Bob was lost, depressed, so he stopped by to see a friend and counselor at Hospice of Dayton. She said, you need to stay busy, and you need to stay around people. He left that day and made his way back to Xenia. He had passed this old school building a thousand times. He had pretty much forgotten about the place, but then... And I came down 2nd Street and I saw the sign out front. Bob turned the car around and went to investigate. It's pretty bad when the light comes out this <laughs> Right away, they made him feel like family. Bridges of Hope needed somebody from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. to run the front desk. I remember the first night I woke up and I looked out there and uh, I saw him sitting out there and I just thought it was just some guy. Quickly, he became so much more. He's always there to lend an ear if somebody gets up to go to the restroom or can't sleep. Interesting, considering Bob will be the first to admit he did not do much listening to anybody before his beloved Dorothea died. Well, I wasn't a good listener. That's the problem. I learned that here. And that is not all he learned. It was such a a different feeling rather than telling people what to do, listening to people and, and hearing their stories. And I had a mindset like a lot of people do. People that are homeless are either drunks or uh, drug addicts. I really like the guy. He, he's easy to, who, to talk to. John Navarro's downward spiral started in 2010 when his wife died from an aneurysm. John said he did the best he could with his three young sons, but in 2013, it all fell apart. It's just he's really relatable and uh, he has some really good advice. Being married to Dorothea for 56 years, Bob thought he had it all figured out. Well, I came here and thought I was going to be a help to you people. I said, you've been a help, more of a help to me than I think I've been to you. She started crying. So I learned a little compassion. Bob realized making a difference comes with doing the little things in life. He beat me really, really badly. We were playing running. Things like playing cards in the middle of the night with his friends who cannot sleep. And as soon as I came in here, I knew uh, this is where God wanted me to be. <laughs> Excuse me. I asked Bob about the hand he has been dealt in life, and he was quick to show me. That's a royal straight flush. It does not get any better than that. He has no psychology degree or a master's in philosophy. And as for that official job title. We could call him Old Faithful because he's always sitting out there. <laughs> Bob said he is richer than he ever imagined, not because of what he has in his bank account, but what he found right here at Bridges of Hope. And never in my wildest dream would I think of being in the middle of Ohio at a shelter like this. For a man who was 82 years old, this is home. Everybody here is family, and he credits God and the love of his life, Dorothea. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Your wife gave you something. She definitely did. Yep. She was a great lady. James Brown, New Center 7.